the question that the Democrat in CNN, CBS, PBS, and all the correct social media don't want to cover before it. Now they want to they want to cover, but they don't want to go over there. And we're talking about the southern border, the border between Texas. Let me explain it because people say you got an accent. They don't understand. I'm gonna explain it again. I'm Puerto Rican, born in Manhattan, New York, grew up in grew up in Puerto Rico, went to school to Puerto Rico, came back over here. United States, uh, Puerto Rico is a part of the United States. Okay, it's a 50th state. What Puerto Rico is a 51. Okay, do the do the search. All right. So Latino for Trump. Okay. So let me say this. Let me say this. Let me say this loud and clear. Don't care what the bad comment they're gonna put on uh, on this video. CNN does doesn't want to go. They don't. I mean, they don't. They don't went to the border when when it was a crisis. When it's a lot of. They don't want to cover nothing with the illegal migrant. And they don't want to leave it. They don't want. Any, they don't want no one to go illegal. But they're illegal. They're they are illegal. I don't judge you no one for those um, religious people that just want to say, "Oh, he he is condemned." What I'm saying is what I'm seeing. I went to upstate New York. I went to Manhattan, New York. Okay, I I went to Manhattan, New York. I went to um oh my gosh um Philadelphia okay I went and see the zombie due to the um the drug they being brought over here to the uh smuggling over here through the illegal migrant okay the fentanyl yes the fentanyl was there before but not like that like it is right now I want you, please, to what the one you that you 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 they're watching me right now through this video. I want you to go to Kensington, 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 Philadelphia, over there in Philadelphia and Pennsylvania. I want you to go over there by yourself or drive passing by that by where you can see. But when you go over there, please put. Uh, a uh, really, really comfortable shoes, but a shoes that the needles doesn't pinch you, you know, doesn't go through it because the needle everywhere. Okay, it was a lady she was talking about that she wished she wanted that she was dead, and she said that there's someone offering. I'm talking about college girl, and then I spoke with another gentleman, black, black gentleman. I mean, that he was there. And then he was a yeah, Puerto Rican that was there. Listen to me. Damn. CNN does, doesn't want to cover that. They want to cover Donald Trump, Donald J. Trump and his family being in jail. And I know no one want to, want to, want to listen to me. No one want to li watching this video or those video that we've been posting concerning this matter people that are afraid of of violence of of family people that are afraid people that are afraid that is why there is so many republican they just don't want to defend trump because they be manipulate and threat what the political stuff do to the government is there right now Hollywood is behind this. Listen, they grab a children's belonging to the, those illegal migrants and sacrifice to the devil. I'm telling you right now, the Hollywood is protecting the Biden family, okay? Because they sacrifice children to the devil. Hollywood, I'm telling you, I know what I'm talking about. Hollywood is protecting the Biden family because there's so many children, oh my gosh, that is being sacrificed to the devil. Hollywood doing this. That is why they are against of the movie Sounds of Freedom. Okay? They are, that is why they are against 
of the the movie Sounds of Freedom. That movie was not made right like like this year, last year, not like no. It was made before, but it was a battle. They had to hold that movie. And then now God permitted to the movie to be released. Listen, Christian, it is time for you to pray for this nation. This nation is under attack of the devil. The devil want to take full control of this nation. If you don't know, we are the leaders, the, the country of, 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 of keys, uh, peacekeeper. I'm so sorry. The country that if, if something happened, they call the U.S. U.S. respond just to maintain the peace in another country. Why I'm saying this? I'm saying it is because well, whatever we do here in the United States, another country doing it too. If the United States got corrupted, another country get corrupted too. And then another one, and then another one, and then another one, and then another one, and then another one. And there is a Satan. Satan is behind this. An urgent to every Christian. Listen to me. There are, they are attacking Israel for defending themselves due to the massacre. They happened October of the seven, uh, the seven of uh, October of the seven. They're attacking Israel. Let me repeat it again for those that are going to say, oh, he got an action. He didn't speak English. I don't care, you dumbass. I'm telling you, they're attacking it because they want to eliminate Israel. They hate God. Okay? They hate, they hate Christianity. And I'm going to say this to CNN, CBS, and those corrupt social media. Why do you want to cover this? Why do you want to cover the border right now? Like from a distance. Talking bad about what uh, Greg Abbott has been doing in Texas. He's doing a great job. We having a threat. Listen, people, we under attack. We under, uh, we, 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 we being, uh, receiving a threat. Even, even, even the, the, the leader of the FBI say that the United States is under, uh, is a threat, really serious threat for the United States of America. He say that. Okay. And we need to take this seriously. That's why they kicked out the Border Patrol and sent a thousand and a thousand of uh, National Guard deploying over there because the cartel, along with the terrorists, want to attack the United States due to the drugs. They sell this country. They sell this country. People want to say, oh, he's a political, he's a Donald Trump. No, if God sends someone, does a matter to lead this country, someone. And remember, people was the one they choose Joe Biden, the corrupting, because they want to be, they want to be, they want to do whatever they want to do. Remember when, when, when the people of Israel choose Saul? They don't want to, they don't want God to, uh, uh, they don't want a guy as a, their leader. They want a man. See what I'm talking about? And Saul, they, they, they choose, they choose Saul because Saul looked like that he, he can take the job and everything. But let me tell you something. There's a lot of ego in Saul. He was a lot of ego. He want to take God, God glory and everything. God knew everything. God knew that. God knew it. About Saul. Okay. So. And. Because the people choose it. And then they saw. What happening. That is happening. The same thing happening right now. With Joe Biden. People choose Joe Biden. And right now. They being seen the reality. The reality. Of who is. Joe Biden. He is not what you guys think. He's acting. When you see the falling, when you see that he's doing this, uh, it's for you, for you to feel sorry for him. 
just like those migrants, they come over here. They come to invade, invade us. I'm telling you, they don't come over here to be in peace. They come over here. They waiting. They waiting for some order. I'm telling you, warning for the United States of America. You got to check those hotels. Uh, the Hill uh, uh, Hotel. All those hotels, those mi illegal migrants, they've been, they been a state on. Those migrants, they've been from uh, the James, uh, J what is that name? Jemaine, um Yemen's group, okay? Yemen, those people from Yemen, those people from, um, we got a ISIS, we got Yemen, we got, we got, oh my gosh, bunch of, of people. They are attacking Israel for the tunnels they was doing it in their mask. Yes, I understand it was bad, but I don't agree to, arrest them they are under attack israel is being targeting for so many years and probably they build this tunnel because they don't want to be targeted by by those dynamic but you see the sergeant he say oh in the united states we don't do this stuff here in the united states we don't make no tunnels in the united states but when we went to baghdad When we went to another country, how many tunnels we built to protect ourselves? That's what they doing it. They did it. I know it's wrong. But in the way that the, that the sergeant say, we don't doing this in the United States. Yes, okay, you, you, you're doing great, bro, for yourself. But let me tell you this. You got to put yourself in those U.S. people. And on in their side, yes, I'm protecting the U.S. people. If you want to put me in jail because I'm protecting the Jewish people, the people of God, go ahead. Go ahead. Don't care. Because there are people that are choosing. And that is why they want to eliminate Israel. Why you guys don't put in jail? Don't put in jail. Those say they walk in free Palestine. Yemen, make us proud. Yemen, make us proud. You know that Yemen is, 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 is he been... He sent a uh, warning to the United, to the United States. And we have people, they supporting Yemen. Yemen sent a message and say, debt to American. Debt to American. Why you guys don't arrest those people? Why you guys don't arrest them? But you guys want to arrest the Jewish people. Hmm? You guys want to charge the Jewish people. The people of God. Why do you want to stop the the Christian people? They preach. The, listen, I was talking about something, but I'm, I don't know. The, I don't know. Guys probably put this up, use my mouth to say something. Why do you guys, when when the LBTQ start to doing their propaganda agenda, okay, because they're, they, they, they are connected with Satan. Why you guys arrest the Christian, uh, Christian, the preachers that was preaching in Pennsylvania? It is in you too. Look at it. Preacher get arrested in Pennsylvania. And uh, LBTQ uh, 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 um, um, parade. Look at it in you too. Christian being, uh, being arrested. But why you guys don't arrest those people, the Palestinian? They're out there. Look at the White House. Look at what they did in the White House. I never see stuff like that before in my life. Never. They have to put a, a, a fence. No, we are the United States of America. They, they have to put barricade, like to protect the fan, the, the fan of the United States, of the White House, the, the most protected house in the whole world. What the heck happened with you, Joe Biden? And they want to go after Donald Trump. They want to crucify Donald Trump and his family. Look at what happened in the White House recently. And you guys don't want to don't want to charge those people, the 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 Palestinian people, the oh free 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 Palestine, Palestine. No one is is holding Palestine. Israel doing a favor. 
to eliminate Hamas, the terrorist group, the Yemen group, the Houthis group. The ISIS group. Because they want to implant the ideology. They want to eliminate the name of God of the United States. CNN, why you want to condemn Greg Abbott for what he's doing? And I'm going to say it again. No one in the United States has been doing the job that he's doing. No governor doing the job or that he's doing to protect the United States of America. I'm going to say in Spanish because I'm Puerto Rican. Nadie en Estados Unidos ha hecho lo que es, ha, está haciendo Greg Abbott. Protegiendo de que, de que haya una, una catástrofe. Tú que me estás mirando, escúchame, que eres de otra nacionalidad. Vienes aquí arriesgándote. ¿Qué sueño tú vienes a buscar aquí? ¿Qué sueño? ¿Por qué ustedes no hacen, no hacen una huelga en su país para que su presidente deje de robar dinero y a ustedes lo ponga en bien? ¿Por qué a traernos carga a nosotros aquí a Estados Unidos? ¿Por qué carga? Las, los taxes suben alto. Why you come to this country to bring more problem? We had our, our problem already. Look at what happened in Ohio. ¿Ok? Look at what happened in Ohio. They kicked out U.S. American out of our, our apartment just to um, shelter immigrant. Just to give those apartments to the immigrant. Do you think that is right? No, it is right for those American black people. Yeah, American black people. I can't say it because I have the color. It is right for some Hispanic. I can say because I'm a Hispanic. And the white too, it is, it is fine. No, because of course you got your check. You got your check. That is no tax and nothing. Huh? That is coming out of your paycheck. It is, you are fine. But, but but listen, my tax went high. Everybody's taxes went high. We spend a million of dollars a week just to support those migrants. Illegal migrants, not migrants. Because migrants is someone that come here illegal. I mean, they come legal, I'm sorry. Someone that come legal here through visa. Apply for visa. They do the background check and everything. But what background check? What is the background? Oh, my God. If Bukele was the president right now, right now, if Bukele, the president of uh, El Salvador, was the president of the United States right now, oh, my gosh. Woo! Look what happened in Ecuador. Look what happened in, in, in those, in those uh, um, uh, Hispanic country. They sweep him out. Up of the United States, they had to take the trash. The United States, they had to do everything. Bukele, I'm going to tell them those people that they don't know. Some, uh, it is a, a lot of, of Salvador, uh, um, uh, Salvadorian people. They belong to some game. Um, they are a game, belong to the game member. They run away from El Salvador to come over here. Bukele want those people that is why we're gonna be in vain that is why the flock they want the flock over here to come to come to come to come to come you don't want you don't why because they don't come over here to get your uh, to get the you the american dream they get they came over here to get your house to get your car right now if illegal migrant going to the yard and put a tent there, put a stove, put everything. You cannot kick it out of there. 
It is a law. Look at it. People are starting to wake up. Christian people are starting to wake up. It's time to go like before. You got the right. Just, just like those people went out there not to preach, but destroy and threw in stuff in the White House. Listen, I'm not against too much against Joe Biden because he's old. He's 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 old. But but I, and I know that the Obama is the one that's behind this. Obama is the one behind this. Joe Biden, he's an old man. He needs someone with the leadership. But Obama is the one that made the order in Harris Kamala. And Hillary Clinton. Christian people. I don't say go on the street and destroy. Because you guys are not going to do that. I know because you are a Christian. But it's time. It is time to get the authority of God. The authority. Listen to me. And walk and start to preach the gospel like never before in the United States of America. Because I know we are in the in the Bible, uh, in the in the how to say, in the prophecy, and the they, they come in the book of the revelation. It is time to preach the gospel around the United States of America. Take the, the demonic ideology, okay. And bring America back to Jesus Christ. Take everything. And stop taking a fool from Joe Biden. And stop taking everything and, blah, 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 and not preaching because Joe Biden. You know what that remind me? It remind me when uh, uh, Moses went to Egypt to send by God to deliver in the people of Israel. When everything happened and Moses doing everything and, 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 and the people of Israel was delivering and everything. And they crossed the, 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 the beach and they went on the other side and they was walking in the desert. They told Moses, you bring us over here to die like a dog when we was eating uh, whatever we want over there in Egypt. God, he said, people are... Because they are behind food, a little misery or whatever, they give it to you. But you know what? In the end, they laughing at you. They laughing when they give you. They make you fat. They make you. They make you eating too much. They give you whatever. Well, now they give it to the uh, illegal migrant. I don't call no one fat. Okay, I say they make you fat. Eat. <laughs> He's like, Sh shut up, uh, shut up. When they put the food in your mouth, shut up, don't talk. Uh, uh, someone, when you got food in your mouth and you're trying to say something to some, someone, someone, try trying to put food in your mouth and say something, like a bread or something to someone and see if he can understand. He's not going to understand what, what you're saying. That's what he's saying. That's what Joe Biden doing. Put food, blah, 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 blah. Way you, when you talk, you sound like a dog without a voice. Wake up. They're going to invade us. Christian people, Satan, Satan is attacking the church. He's attacking the Jewish people. Shalom Israel. Shalom Israel. Shalom Israel. Jesus died for the, for the truth. And if I had to die for the truth, the, th the truth, and defend the Christianity and defend the Constitution of the United States of America. That's my obligation. My obligation. And telling you people the truth. Don't care. If I'm going, I want to go to heaven. I want to go to heaven. Even by mercy. But, I, but I, I want the truth. God bless. Shalom Israel. From the bottom of my soul. 
from the deeper in my soul. God bless Israel. God bless you. From the motto of my liver, my soul, my heart. God bless you, Israel. From the bottom of my ears that I have, God bless you, Israel. Shalom, Israel. Shalom, Israel. Shalom, Israel. And, I, and God bless you. God bless you. God bless you, United States of America. And God bless Israel. Thank you very much.